Hello, I'm Austin Jarrett from Allet Mowers. We receive a lot of questions about which mower should I choose, the Buckingham 20 or the Westminster 20? And on the surface of it, they both look very similar machines. Both of these machines are from our heavy duty, semi-pro or club range. The Westminster 20H is designed for close cutting. It's a petrol mower and it is ideal for cricket wickets, bowling greens, golf greens, or even the finest ornamental lawn. But this is about low cutting, and you need to consider this machine only if you're prepared to be mowing twice a week. The Buckingham 20H is a general purpose mower. It delivers a very fine lawn with a professional grade finish. It's amazing at strong, long-lasting stripes. And this machine is available not only in a 20 inch, but a 24 and a 30 inch too. Let's take a closer look at the differences between these two mowers. You'll see that both these machines are from the same part of the Allet family. They've both got a very strong heritage. And often when I'm speaking to customers that are coming on looking to replace them, an exact machine or very similar machine then they're replacing a machine that is decades years old not just a few years old very strong uh, semi-professional machines and that is really indicated in the weight of these products you cannot pick up either of these products products to be able to lift them up steps uh, the Buckingham 20 comes in at 103 kilos and the Westminster's slightly lighter and we'll look at the reasons why at 92 kilograms but neither of these machines can I pick them up and put them into the boot of the car. If we start at the front and um, we'll look at the rollers. Both of the rollers are common to the machine uh, for both machines and they're both steel and zinc plated uh, for rust resistance. The difference comes in the height adjustment and on the Buckingham machine where the accuracy of height of cut is not so critical then we have two lock nuts and then a turn gear wheel here which I can turn which lifts and lowers the roller. The height of cut for the Buckingham is as low as five millimeters at absolutely minimum up to 35 millimeters which is as high as you would ordinarily want to cut with a cylinder mower. On the Westminster 20, the height of cut becomes much more critical. We are mowing as low as 2.4 millimetres up to 19 millimetres. So this really only mows as high as you would expect to mow a low lawn. But when you're mowing bowling greens, golf greens or cricket wickets, you're working definitely down at the bottom level of these heights of cut. Additionally, with the front roller on the Westminster, we have a scraper which is adjustable with these four screws. And the reason you have a scraper on this machine is if we start to pick up worm casts or wet grass clippings on the front roller, it will start to alter the height of cut quite significantly. And because we've bought this machine for very accurate heights of cut, the scraper is a major contributor to maintaining the height of cut as we've set it. To adjust the scraper, uh, you simply do that through these four screws just here. If I back those off using a 10 millimeter uh, spanner or wrench, and then what I do is I just use a piece of cardboard because I want the scraper to be as close to the roller as I can possibly get, but at the same time, I don't want it touching and wearing either the blade or the roller. So by backing it off, I take a piece of cardboard which I've folded in two, it's quite thin art cardboard. And then once I've put that in place, I just squeeze the blade to make sure it sits correctly. And then I can tighten that up. Once I've tightened this side up, I can then remove the cardboard, insert it on the other side, push the scraper up to that and tighten this side. Then when I rotate the roller, I know that I've got absolute minimum clearance on there. 
and it's adjusted correctly without wearing the scraper blade. To change the height of cut on the Westminster, of course, needs to be much more accurate than it is with the general purpose machine. And we have locking nuts on either side here, and then we have a micro adjust knob which we can turn and very accurately and incrementally adjust the height of cut to get this exactly right. Both of these machines use a comb which runs just behind the front roller. These combs are both great for raking weed grasses that are lying flat and for standing the grass upright in order to present to the bottom blade. And of course by combing the grass all in the same direction it without doubt helps as well with the contrasts in the light green, dark green stripes. The combs are actually different on both of these products. The comb on the Buckingham is put into a position. So we set this normally two to three millimeters below the height of cut. And the comb on the Westminster, because we're generally mowing much lower, actually is adjusted by pressure. So the tine itself actually almost drags through the sward uh, with a continuous pressure to comb those low growing grasses upright. On a cricket wicket it means that we can mow down to target heights much more quickly uh, and bowling greens it helps to give a more consistent uh, ball speed uh, no matter where you are on the green. Then we move on to the cutting cylinder. This is really the business end of the mower of course and you'll have noticed already the most striking difference is the six bladed cylinder on the general purpose Buckingham and the 12 bladed cylinder which is fitted to the Westminster. So what's that all about? With the Buckingham we are generally cutting more grass, we're cutting at a lesser frequency and so we need to be able to handle a larger volume of grass clippings and we're also not mowing so low. With the Westminster, by definition, we're mowing low and we're mowing more frequently. That's a lesser volume of grass clippings, so by having more blades, the cylinder isn't going to get choked up. But more importantly, when I'm mowing at very low heights, the clip rate becomes very much more apparent. So the six-bladed cylinder gives us a clip rate of 73 clips per meter and if you work that out that means that the cylinder is cutting against the bottom blade about every 14 millimeters of travel. When you get twice the clip rate we're now uh, at 45, 145 clips per meter we're getting seven millimeter differences between where we're clipping. So on lower heights of cut you're going to get a much smoother finish and the, the clips will not be apparent even at the lowest heights of cut. Both of these machines use the Honda GX120 engine with a 3.1 litre fuel tank and that's a 196cc displacement. That's bags of power for whichever of these machines you're going to use and remember we use exactly the same engine on our 30 inch wide machine and that copes with trailing seat admirably. Next let's look at the rear roller because these are quite different too. The rear roller is so important on these cylinder mowers they control the height of cut, they drive the mower along and of course they create the stripes that we so want when we're using an Allet mower. The rear roller on the Westminster, the more precise machine remember, is a fully machined aluminium rear roller and that's why this machine is slightly lighter than the Buckingham. We have in, this, in both systems a pawl and ratchet differential system and both rollers are split into two and the reason we do that is because when we're straight lining we want to be able to correct our direction just slightly but without the drive affecting that and when we come to turn at the end we don't want to cause great scuffing at the end which will wear our grass um, but by having the roller differential driven it means that both rollers can drive at their own speed without causing scuffing. On the rear roller of the Westminster as well we have a spring-loaded scraper again we don't want any build-up on the rear roller because the height of cut is so critical and so fine. On the more robust Buckingham machine you'll notice 
the black roller there and that's because this is a heavy duty steel roller and this is actually got a bonded rubber coating with a tread cut into that. That gives us great traction and we need that for the Buckingham especially when we're pulling the trailing seat but just because of the general purpose nature of it I can drive this up ramps into the back of the vehicle with good traction and I can drive it around the garden or workplace on hard surfaces without it making noise. Both of these machines have the same handbrake assembly as well so I just simply move this lever in order to break the rear roller and of course that's handy if I'm mowing on slopes so when I return after emptying the grass box my mower is still there. The aluminium roller of course is so much more delicate than the really robust rubber coated steel and the optional extra that we have so that you don't damage this roller when driving over gravel or on pavements because we really want to keep this in good condition is that we have a wheel kit. This machine comes as standard already with the stub axles provided at the side and what we buy when we buy the wheel kit is the stand and so I have a stand here which allows me just to lift the back end of the machine up and then I have wheels which I can just insert onto the machine and there's a really clever little clamping system just here as well. That will allow me then to wheel the machine around uh, uh, on these hard surfaces without any risk of causing damage on the rear roller or the bottom blade because they're lifted so clearly from the ground. The final big difference is the grass boxes that fit to these two wonderful machines. This is the Westminster. On a greens mower the volume is not quite so important. Now although these grass boxes are both 84 litres each uh, I don't need to fill this grass box for them. The main reason for that is, is because as this grass box gets heavier, of course it puts more weight on the front roller and actually changes the height of cut. So we always want to be very prudent about the amount of grass clippings that go into the grass box on the Westminster, especially if we're being very particular about our height of cut. The Westminster grass box has a really nice handle and insert as well just here and notice this doesn't have a grass box hoop on it but uses the tags which insert directly into the mower and that saves a lot of weight because we don't need the grass box hoop but in particular you need to see how close this grass box mates up to the cylinder so that everything that is picked up and cut by the cylinder is discharged into the grass box it's a really neat deal on this the more robust Buckingham, the grass box sits on this hoop which also protects the mower and uh, the, the grass box is less likely to be knocked off as well. 84 litres as well and that just very quickly and easily because I'm more likely to be changing that more often with greater amounts of grass cutting just drop straight on and really easy to use. Both grass boxes are made of polypropylene which means that it makes them very robust and I'm not going to worry about damaging those, they'll pop back up into shape. Uh, there's no paint, there's no steel to rust over time as well, so they'll last the, at least the lifetime of the mower. So to wrap up, I hope that gives you a really good idea of the differences so that it gives you the information you need to choose which mower is the mower for you. Remember these machines are dedicated cylinder mowers, this is all they do, so in the design everything's about the mowing. There's no compromise with these machines having to accommodate different cartridges to be able to cultivate and brush. They just mow and they do it really, really well. So no interchangeable cartridges on this system. Uh, and uh, remember with the options, with the general purpose Buckingham, we can use the trailing seat behind both 20, 24 and 30 inch wide machine, which saves your legs uh, and allows you to cover much larger areas for larger periods of time. You really can cut a lot of grass really well with this machine. On the Westminster machine we have the wheel kit and stand so we can protect the roller and the much more delicate bottom blade on this machine as well. Because we might be in situations where we do sometimes get caught out with long grass, 
the front roller knocks down long grass and then doesn't present it to the bottom blade properly and cylinder mower is not good at mowing long grass short. Uh, we have a wheel kit which replaces the front roller on this machine as well just to give it added general purpose grass mowing abilities. So I hope that answers all the questions. Thank you very much for watching. If you need any more information then please visit our other videos on our Alit YouTube channel uh, or visit our website on www.alit.co.uk.